Hey, how's it going guys? Domino Paris 21 here, and back again with yet another deck profile for you all. Uh, so of course what I have to present to you guys is my Falling Saber Dragon Reverse deck, post BT12 of course. So, we found Saber Dragon Reverse brings forth a cross break ride for Eradicators, uh, making Valiant Sword Dragon not as mediocre as, well, the mediocre card he is, but the fact is that now he has a cross ride counterpart, definitely makes him a little bit more viable. Uh, but just being able to uh, cross ride in general uh, and have that 13k body is really, really good, uh, especially in this meta. Uh, now that a lot of decks are starting to get a little bit of a power increase, so having that defensive body really, really helps. Uh, now there is debate as to you know whether this deck is more viable than the Gauntlet Buster build, um, but me personally, for how I like to play Eradicators and how much I love Gauntlet Buster, I usually I actually do prefer Gauntlet Buster more, but. Uh, but definitely I'm really loving the aggressive style of play and how explosive this deck can be. Um, so uh, definitely it could be a very, very scary matchup for a, lot of, uh, for a lot of popular decks out there too as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's actually get to it. So first off is your starter, pardon me Urza. You have your Eradicator Lynchu. Um, as, a, as you guys already know, I mean Lynchu is like one of the best starters in the game. Uh, when you boost an Eradicator and it hits Vanguard, you kind of boss one, put him in soul, retire a grade one or less unit of your opponent. Still an amazing card, and I really can't imagine playing any other starter for Eradicators. Um, next up for grade threes, you have your three, Fowling Saber Dragon Reverse. So uh, in case you guys don't know what he does, uh, Limit Break four, you counter blast two and lock two Eradicator rear guards, and your opponent chooses two of his rear guards, retires them, and he get, he gains plus 10. Um, what I like, what I like, do like about the skill is that um, the fact that he does gain the plus ten uh, makes it so that you can actually just lock uh, a booster that's uh, behind him. Uh, so it's, it's you're pretty much not like wasting one booster essentially uh, when you are since you are locking two uh, units. Uh, some issues I may have with this card is that um, the fact is that you have to lock two units. It essentially forces you to commit to a full field to really get the most efficiency out of the skill because, I mean, you still want to have an ideal field to attack with, to attack with your opponent. So the fact is you're locking two, you usually lock two boosters, um, just so obviously you keep your front rows open for attackers. So, um, especially when I'm playing with this deck, I really didn't like the fact is that I was kind of almost forced to just drop into committing to a full field. Um, you know, it's kind of like a little, it kind of goes against my personal play style, how I like to play the deck, but uh, how I like to play most of my decks. But nonetheless, it's still very explosive. Um, I mean, it, it definitely is a very, very scary skill against uh, decks that essentially rely on an ideal offensive field uh, to, you know, to really work at their best, such as, you know, uh, Aquaphors, Nova, Nova Grapplers, Dark Irregulars and such, or, and even Revengers. So um, it's, it's definitely a very explosive deck. Uh, excuse me, explosive skill, but uh, sometimes it's not even uh, worth uh, using, you know, like for instance against like Pale Moon or like Liberators, like Liberated Garmore and such. So uh, you definitely got to be careful on, on, on when you actually use this card, but still a very powerful card nonetheless. Uh, and plus the artwork looks really amazing on this, although I can't really depict uh, where's his head and where's what. Looks like he has two heads on it. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But yeah, um, so of course being this cross break ride deck, you have your three Valing Sword Dragons, of course. Uh, just when uh, when a Narukami runs on top of him, plus 10, retire front row. So it's pretty good. I mean, obviously combine him with the skill of uh, uh, Reverse. You can essentially wipe out your opponent's board. So uh, it could, it's uh, it's pretty fun to actually do. So, uh, so yeah. Um, last but not least, you have your two Dragonic Descendants. Now uh, there's a, there's a lot of debate as to you know whether Dragonic Descendant is still as good as he was hyped up to be on the release of set ten, but I still love Dragonic Descendant. Like he's still an amazing card. I mean, especially like if you face up like if you face against Revengers and Link Jokers right now, they don't have a, cr a cross ride, which is like the main argument people say about him. So I mean, he's still amazing against them, and uh, like especially against matchups where it may not even be worth using Valing Saber Reverse. You can just go into uh, Dragonic Descent and save Counter Blast, and then use the Counter Blast on him to get the plus five. And I mean, with the him plus five, you can pretty much hit anything, including cross rides. Um, and a Restanding Vanguard is still a Restanding Vanguard. Um, he's still a good combo with Valing Sword Dragon, and I mean, so he can single-handedly finish a lot of games for you. Like nobody likes to deal with a Restanding Vanguard, especially with Descendants. So 
I still think he's one of the best cards in the game and still one of the best finishers. So I really can't imagine playing Eradicators without running him. So running two is perfectly fine. So yeah, so my grade threes. Next up for grade twos, four Spark Rain Dragons. Uh, just standard 12K attackers, definitely gotta run four of those. Your four Chohos. Um, still like, I still like four Chohos in the deck uh, for multiple reasons. Now, one Choho actually becomes more viable in this particular build because, uh, of course, uh, let's say, for instance, you ride Vowing Saber Dragon Reverse first. Well, since Vowing Sword Dragon's an Eradicator, you can use Choho skill, put him in Soul to retire a front row unit, and there you go. Um, not only that, you could potentially actually cross ride a turn early, but you pretty much now have a consistent way to get your cross ride. So it's actually uh, pretty nice to do. Um, and being that Choho just uh, honestly, you know, being able to, you know, kill your opponent's front row rear guards, um, you essentially uh, control the game state in your favor. Uh, you definitely have to be very selective with him against, uh, you know, certain matchups like Pale Moons and Liberators, which, you know, they have a hard counter against one for one removal like Choho. So you got definitely got to be careful with how you use him, but still a, a very amazing card in this deck. And then next you have your two of uh, Roshishin. Roshishin. I'm really bad at pronouncing names. But yeah, he's pretty much like a Shuki, but for grade twos. But uh, basically, when uh, you're, when you ever you retire one rear guard from your opponent, uh, he gains plus five. So obviously, combine him with Vowing Sword Reverse, he essentially will gain plus ten. So it's pretty nice. So being able to gain plus ten makes him eighteen by himself. So um, you can uh, lock a booster. You can lock the booster behind him, so he can still hit a good number, especially against cross rides for eighteen. And put it behind a Shuki, you can hit for like potentially thirty one or some pretty ridiculous numbers. So. I think two is just perfectly fine, just because like unless you're unless you're going off with like Vowing Sword Dragon or particularly Reverse, he kind of just stands as an AK, a mediocre AK body, which is not very good. And at times, maybe if you're stuck, oops, oops, clumsy me. At times, if you're stuck on a Descendant, I mean, he's really not that great. So um, he's he's perfectly fine at two. I mean, usually I usually try to hold him in my hand until I'm like about to go off with uh, Vowing Saber. And then for last of my grade twos, um, I'm just running one Thunder Boom. Good turn, to, good turn to ride, good 10k body, and put him behind a Shuki. Um, when you retire two, and you put him behind the Shuki here, which uh, essentially becomes a 13k booster, you still hit for 23, which is good against uh, cross rides. So uh, he was originally a, a third Roshi Shin, but uh, I, like I said, I don't like more than two. So uh, Thunder Boom is definitely a nice card uh, to run instead. So yeah, so that is my grade twos. And last but not least, for grade ones, you have your. Four Shukis, uh, just especially in this particular build, you really can't run uh, more less than four. Just so good. Um, gains plus three every time you retire a rear guard of your opponents. Uh, if you guys don't know what he does, uh, so obviously you know if you combine it with Vowing Sword Reverse, he becomes a 13k booster or attacker. So there's actually a few games where I've even like put two of them in one column and hit for 26. So uh, definitely, definitely can't imagine running less than four in in general. Oops, I'm just drawing cards everywhere. And then you have four perfect guards. Um, nothing, no, um, not much more there. Four demolition dragons, just uh, 10k attackers, 7k boosters. Very, very solid uh, to run. And then I am running uh, two 10k vanguard boosters. I can't pronounce this name, uh, but this is definitely nice uh, to have a nice solid 10k booster now. Uh, especially if you're dealing with other cross rides, uh, you put them behind a cross ridden Vowing Saber Reverse, hit for 23. Um, so, I mean, honestly, it's, if you're using Vowing Saber Reverse, I mean, a lot of times you're going to be locking the Vanguard Booster anyway, so it doesn't really matter what you put behind here anyway. Um, so, here, but once you're pretty much done using the skills, he just constantly hits for that 21, 23k mark, so, uh, very ideal card to run. And then last but not least for my triggers, still remains the same at 8 crit, Eradicator crits that is. Four draws. I just run. I just run uh, two of each kind, just to so my opponent can't guess my ratios, obviously. And then four heal. So nothing much more to it. Nothing much more to it. So yeah, guys, that is my deck profile for you guys. Um, I actually may have a comparison video uh, for you guys with Bound Saber Reverse and Gauntlet Buster Dragon. But, uh, so you'll see a link on the video if I actually make that video. So, uh, but yeah, overall, I'm really liking this deck. Um, definitely like the cross ride. Definitely like that Erratic Heroes actually have a cross ride, which is very viable to have a nice 13k body, especially against um, this meta now that uh, decks are starting to get a lot of increase in offense. So yeah, as always, guys, leave a comment down below. And uh, 
share your thoughts or questions concerns you may have for me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. Well, thanks again, thanks again guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.